You live again. Gino Spot indeed, Thursday, the 14th of April. Fantastic. On our Easter weekend is hooking up, getting ready. We, we are hooking up the trailer for the, for the Easter weekend. It'll be fantastic. It's going to be a little bit of a break for everybody. Get your family together and hopefully uh, without COVID to interfere too much anymore. I had my third booster today, actually. So I'm still, I don't know, nothing's grown out of me just yet. I'm going to check it out. But um, fantastic to hear that Eastern Cape, I think, is now, is, uh, they, they, they're telling us that we are getting into herd immunity. Herd immunity, like a bunch of, a bunch of maniacs. Here we go. Very good. Uh, Ronald Minar is awake and going early in the morning there in uh, New Zealand. Lovely. Welcome. Welcome, Ronald Minar. Lovely to have you on board. It's good to have people from all over the world yeah, watching Gino Spot. The advantage of uh, the internet, of course. And uh, thank you to our sponsors, of course. Spar, spar, and I'm wearing my, my spar uh, t-shirt as well today. It's the be most beautiful virtual challenge. Uh, last year was lim limitless. Um, this year it is a different theme. They are going to be uh, we, we're having meetings about the new um, virtual challenge, which is a spar virtual challenge. You can run from anywhere, anytime. Any, well, actually, on on that day you run at any time on that day uh, between six and six and eight or something, or six and six. And then you uh, you basically run whatever however far you want to run, and you uh, and you record it and you and you post it on on uh, on on the interweb, and then you can run the spa virtual challenge and be a part of it and get your medal and your t-shirt and all sorts of stuff. It's been a great fun this year. They are they're going big. They're going big indeed. Um, and then also of course make sure that you subscribe on YouTube to Gino Spot. We are in Eastern Cape. It's the, all about the people of the Eastern Cape. That's what this is about here, yeah, Gino Spot. We. We are um, we are always um, uh, we we've, we always uh, it's expanding on our on our guests, getting getting new people in, interesting people to talk about. But they're always got a link to the Eastern Cape. And if you want to part, be a part of the community, this is what we got to do these days. That's right. Internet and and uh, YouTube is the best way to do it. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll show you, even show you what to do. You just click on the link that is in the comments. We're going to put the link in the comments, okay? Then you go there to Gino's spot like that. You see there, and you'll see there on the on the right hand side it says subscribed, and you. Click on that little bell. There we go. There we go. The, uh, we, you, we've put it in the comments so that you guys can do it. Go and do it and then tell me if you've done it because YouTube is the best way to watch this thing. It's the best one to use. It, it, it reminds you when uh, every Tuesday and every Thursday, it'll remind you that Gino Spot's happening and tell you who's on so you can pop in and have a look and say, how's it to whoever I'm talking to at that particular time? And even if it's on a Wednesday or a Monday, which we can't, sometimes we do it on a Wednesday or a Monday if we can't make the Tuesday, Thursday standard times. But go there subscribe you can see it there subscribe on the right hand side so uh youtube is the best way to watch gino spot make sure that you do it do it babies all right so ladies and gentlemen tell me where you are watching from and uh, also tell me where uh, what you're drinking because i'll well, get organize yourself a drink sit back and relax and get yourself maybe even something to eat i've got a little bit of uh, we've got some croissants here luke is a beautiful croissant from fat cats catering 
Thank you very much to Grace from Fat Cat's Race, Grace from uh, Fat Cat's Catching, always organizing a little bit of food for us as well. Wonderful. And of course, I'm having a little bit of uh, Fitch and Leeds. Fitch and Leeds, one of our sponsors too. Thank you, Fitch and Leeds. And of course, uh, Keith Clark has given me some punters. Can you check the punters here as well? We've got a bit of, we got a punters. I think punters done him very nicely. Done excellent, Ronald Mara. Thank you. And uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a great one because you can actually, long Londres, Londres, is that where you are, um, is it London that you are uh, watching from? Is it Londonium? That's what we Romans say, Londonium. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so send me your comments. Tell me where you're from, where you're from, what, you, what you're doing, what, you, what you're drinking, and, uh, and I'll see it for you. Aha, that's right. A little bit of 80s. Well, my friends, the time has come. Raise the roofs and have some fun. Away from slop start Sean Paul's Let the music play on Camilla Ellis is there everywhere She says hi everybody She's cuddled up in bed with a good book And also your TV with YouTube So you can sing along I said yeah Party, come on in, fiesta forever come on and subscribe on all night long all night all night all night long great con great con from joe davis locksmiths you still at work get started we can slow down I had Greg Khan and also his guys on They'll help you get your doors open If you've locked your keys inside the car <laughs> Oh Said the boy, yeah. Hey, Jumbo Jumbo, it's a party. Oh, oh, Somebody has said the boy, yeah. Hey, thank you, Spar. Our sponsors are so fitch and leads. We're gonna have a party. All night long. Well done, well done. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Gino Spot. Indeed, we are ready and champing at the bit to get to our guest tonight, Mr. John Rashmere. John is, uh, of course, very well known in the town because he's built, he's designed so many of the buildings, as well as uh, being involved in all sorts. So let's let's not waste any time in getting our uh, special guest on, Mr. John Rashmere. Let's do it. Have a good time indeed. John Rushmere, welcome onto Gino's. Spot. Hello, Gino. <laughs> Fantastic to have you on. We've, we've had you on the radar for a while, John, but you know, we, we, you disappeared to Cape Town, so we had to find I'm you first. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. I'm sure. But, John, she was. Um, uh, how, how long have you been down there in Cape Town? A couple of years now. Wow, okay, we, okay. We got here literally days before lockdown oh wow okay so just before and so the, two, two and a half years four or five days after we, we got here so we squeezed in wow we started off in camps bay and we've moved to tumble screw tumble so that's, that's, that's where, it's sorry say again i said the song I just saw I say, I say, tambour scloof. It, it makes me think of uh, tambourain, tambourain, tambour. So it, it, drum, it must be a drum. <laughs> tambourain. But now, John, uh, so, uh, and, and, and uh, I mean, obviously, um, you, you've retired, you retired from, from work a little while ago, yeah. but what have you been doing with yourself uh, since? No, enjoying, literally enjoying that retirement. <laughs> uh, our three children and their children are yeah. all here in Cape Town. Yes. 
Oh, that's so. That's well. That is a good reason to move down there. If you're going to move away from PE, that's uh, that's a good reason to move. Is your is your it family? Was it was the only reason because difficult to leave behind the lifelong uh, friendships with, with, with my friends in Port Elizabeth. I miss them. For sure, for sure. I'm, I'm sure you are. But I mean, you, you, you're not one for sitting around too much. I mean, have you, have you had some projects that you've been doing as well? No, no, no. no. I put down my tools and that's it. That's it. No more, no more contracting, no more. <laughs> it's, I'm calling time, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, do miss, I do miss the university because I was strongly connected to the university, to the uh, Department of Architecture. And, yes. Um, I miss the students. Yeah. Well, we, 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 I think it was last week when we had two, two, two shows ago. I think we had John Smallwood on. Yes, John. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> good friend. Yes. A good friend, he, a good friend and a good colleague. Yeah. Well, he was very interesting to have on. I can tell you that. He is, he is another story. <laughs> <laughs> I see Tao Lu is saying hello there. Hello, Professor Rashmia. Who's that? From, uh, Tao Lu says yeah. there. So it must be a student of yours, maybe. Yeah, yeah, it could be. Yeah. Yeah, and and Mike van Fieren, uh, that's fires. Uh, Cardinal okay, Puff you. for the first and last time he says. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to tell us what Cardinal Puff is. I don't know what that's all well, about. Well, who's who sent that one? Fire. Mike van Fieren. That's Mike uh, fires. Mike, you're you're on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> he says last time Viva Bang Ho. Yes, what is that? Viva Bongo. Now, Viva Bongo is part of Cardinal Puff. He has to the health of Cardinal Puff. Viva oh, Bongo. Is that like a drinking thing or what? That is, it's a drinking thing. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. It gets you into lots of trouble. Oh, right. Okay, okay. Oh, Teresa, she says. Tao Lu says it's Teresa. Oh, Teresa. Yeah, no. Teresa's a star. Oh, is she? Architect, okay. Wait. Architect, lecturer. Oh, wow. Yeah. And now okay, a doctor, it, no oh, yeah. oh, really? Okay, okay. Just been awarded a doctorate. Yeah. Wow, wow. Well, congratulations, Teresa. That's excellent, excellent news. We hope you make loads of money, <laughs> loads of money now. <laughs> you know. So, uh, well, John, let's. I mean, it's obviously uh, Cape Town's been relaxing, but it, but it's been quite a tough time during COVID. So you guys have probably, be, you know, it's it's coming to the end of the lockdown. So at least you can start enjoying yourself a bit. Now we we still enjoyed ourselves. Now we we weren't very obedient, um, but <laughs> but we tried not to endanger people. But uh, yes, we were very relaxed about it. Oh, you know, good, getting so down good. onto the beach with the kids and so on. Yeah. Oh, lovely, lovely course, family time is. The grandchildren. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. They, they, they tend to do that. It's, it, they, they can be quite a handful. And I think they get handed over to the grandparents eventually, uh, you know, quite a lot. That is a tendency. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brad Paul there. Brad Paul's online. He says, chop and dop at Gino, at Gino's spot indeed. And, and he says, Brad Paul says you're looking well, John. Thank you, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And there's, a, there's another one from Grant Kunica. He says, pity I was at, e, at UPE before John joined, uh, so I had to go knocking on his door for crits. <laughs> <laughs> is Grant also, also architect? I hope I put you in the right direction anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure you did. Uh, all right, let, let's, well, let's just go back into the history because it's already coming, coming through, John. Um, uh, where, where were you born? Where did you, where did you grow up? I'm a Port Elizabethan man. I was born there. Okay. Went, went to school uh, at Woodridge and then Gray. Yeah. So, okay. So, so you were at Woodridge as well. The university. Yeah. 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 Okay. So so even even so junior school Woodridge and then and then on to Gray for high school. That's it. Yeah. Okay. And and were you always? Uh, I, mean, I mean, I know you were quite sporty as well, always, and and, and you enjoyed your rugby and and, and uh, yeah. No, uh, no, sport is a great passion of mine. Yeah. You know it's. Uh, it didn't matter what the sport was, I loved it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do and it. and was it was your family? I mean, what what did your father do uh, back then as well? well was, I is, believe he yeah. was a rugby referee, but uh, I only ah. met him when I was seven years old because he had gone off to war when I was born. I started wow. the war. You know that, Gina? Gee, was okay, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, he started, I started it. The Second World War. I was born on the first of April, which is a foolish date. And yes. and uh, 
and the war started on the 1st of September. I must have had something to do with it. Yeah, hell of bells, man. And, and well, happy birthday from a couple for two weeks back then, eh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Man, so so uh, it's, and so for the first seven years of your life, you didn't see your your, your dad. She was man, and because no, uh, I mean, it, it, briefly we might come out, but I don't really remember yeah. any of that. Yeah. Wow. And then man. when we arrived back, um, I went off to boarding school with my brother, my elder okay. brother, okay. My late elder yes. brother. We went okay. off to Woodridge, and from there on, it was boarding school all the way through. Yeah. Wow. Um, somebody was talking about boarding school uh, and 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 saying that that uh, some people would say that they they would send their kids there and others 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 no ways. It's like it's it's either one way or the other, you know. It's an unwinnable argument. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is there, really the advantage because there's advantages. advantages and disadvantages to both. Yeah, yeah. And and I mean, um, sorry, did did Grant go to boarding school as well? I can't remember if if. Uh, yes, you did. He did. Just, well, okay. Did, yeah, the he, first, the he first two years. He went to Woodridge after okay, the yeah. preliminary years, and then on to St Andrews. Okay, so so you were boarding school, and 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 that's, I mean that that is often a um, a kickstart for any any sporting people that that uh, the, the boarders. Sure. That's what yeah, they do, you know. Your, your hours, the extra yeah. hours you fill with just kicking or hitting a ball. Yeah. yeah, it's true. It's true. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I remember, um, I just I always had a, a story about about going to to play Queens College uh, at, with Clarendon Park because I was at Clarendon, of course, with Grant, and then yeah, and then uh, and I remember they absolutely slaughtered us, man, because <laughs> the borders were so bloody good. You know, they got that yeah. time to spend. Yeah, it's it's not comfortable getting slaughtered at any school. No, <laughs> it wasn't great. I think we were all out for 11. <laughs> they put us in again. <laughs> well, I wouldn't brag about that, you know. I would keep going. Oh, well, you know, if, you, if you've never got a century, well, you just got to go the other way around. <laughs> But John, so okay, so and 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 academically, I mean, were you were you uh, quite focused at school? Did you did you enjoy it? Uh, you know, I wasn't that focused. I had a godfather who said to me, hey, John, your school years are going to be the best of your life. Now, so what you need to do is do just enough work to get through <laughs> and enjoy yourself. Yes. <laughs> I'm not That's that not I bad advice. <laughs> I'm not saying I followed his advice, but uh, okay, right. yes, I did enjoy boarding school. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. Because, because uh, uh, I mean, uh, if, if I if I speak to people, they either they either that, that sort of focused personality uh, where they can they can really with your your studies and that you could you could sit and focus or or but ADD a bit out there. I'm know? not sure about the studies, but we okay. we did a lot of kicking balls around and uh, that sort of thing. It wasn't like uh, your your note from your teacher, John is a daydreamer. You know, that's what I got a lot. Gino yeah, yeah. is, yeah. Gino is always looking out the window. I never got one of those. <laughs> oh, I didn't. <laughs> no, well then you must have been fine. A good academic, good focus. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, um, uh, uh, did, uh, then obviously at school you, you were playing sport. Did, did you uh, uh, did, did you play in any um, sort of? Did you get to get any uh, no. sort of provincial no. teams or anything? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, I was a very ordinary cricketer, quite frankly. Even though I played a bit of provincial cricket, I. You know, I, I reckon I was okay. really ordinary. It was after school that um, I really fell in love with rugby. I was passionate. Okay. About, still am, still am passionate. And, and when, when you left, so when you left grade, did you go? Where did you go to then? Cape Town University. Okay, so UCT, huh? Yeah. Huh? Ikees. UCT, yeah. yeah. All right, because uh, actually, actually, Grant, Grant said that you played. Uh, uh, rugby with UCT there because it was quite a big thing at that time and and I know we've had a couple of guys on including Fires who was talking here now saying that the, the club the club cricket the club rugby the club soccer those the clubs were big in the in, in the early days yes very true wonderful yeah, yeah. Uh, but university is very privileged you know there were a lot of talent there and um, yeah. uh, we played some some really good Good rugby. Uh, we yeah. won the Grand Challenge twice, which in Cape Town is quite difficult. Yeah. We still as, as competitors, and of course, yeah. great clubs like Hamilton's and Villages. It's a tough okay. league, so to win yeah. it twice was uh, quite a feather in our cap. Yeah. Yo. 
and and those those varsity games were big as well. They had lots of support. Into varsity, wild, wow. wild. I mean, it's yeah, it's uh, it's very. It used to be very very big. Now, of course, they've got the University Cup and Shield and yeah. so on. Yes, yes. And um, it's so uh, that's thinned out a bit. But okay, in the days that I was at university, it was <laughs> it yeah. was big, very really big. There's a there's a message just pop, popped on there. It says Keith Clark. Is uh, <laughs> yeah, Keith is the one who, who gives us our uh, our punters gin here for a bit. He's he's a uh, but, but Keith knows to, knows everybody. I think he says good evening, John Gino from a cold Cape Town. Uh, were you not lock uh, lock at Rugger? Uh, seem to remember. Were you, did you play lock? I played lock. Yes. Oh, there yeah. we go. Keith is remembering. He's remembering yeah. it. <laughs> I had no option. So, I was just under two meters tall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Rushmere is apparently the Rushmere are all tall like that, and and so I mean, it, it was was it Rushmere the, the, the Rushmere in general was was that a, an Eastern Cape family? Where where did it originally come from? Uh, was that Grahamstown area? Was it? Are you one of the the Albany English guys? Yeah, my grandfather. Uh, you know, he was up in. Uh, he had a farm and a and okay. uh, a shop up in the uh, Transkei. Yeah, but okay. Away. Yes. And they moved from there down to the Grahamstown district. And then my dad, okay. because my uncle, also an attorney, had yeah. uh, established himself uh, in Grahamstown, my dad moved on to Port Elizabeth. And that's how our ah. family came to be. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so it, was, it was kind of up there, frontier farmers vibes. That was. Was it? A, yeah. So yeah, because we we've had a lot. Of, because Ethel Trollop was on uh, on a little while ago as well. He's also proudly he, he says <laughs> he says now nah, but you know it's always but and swat and that whole thing with the thing he says. Yeah, when you've so, got a when you've got a poor, poor memory for names, which I have. Yes, it's lovely to be able to say hello but or hello swat. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly and they're, and they're very good and, and, and that's why I'm, I'm wearing my pineapple suit tonight as well to uh, in in tribute to the uh to the bathurst yeah the bathurst and and, uh, <laughs> and and kenton and whatever you know and they say they say there's so much rain they put they pull in the pineapples out with the prawn pump <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I see. Um, I see uh, just a couple more uh, messages here. Is um, Graham Grant saying hello? Uh, he says, "Wonderful to see you, John. Looking good as well." Thank you, Graham. Yeah, Graham so, Grant. Yeah, Graham is a student of mine. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, and uh, Keith. Yeah. Keith says you knew Colin's family very well. Nice to see you, yeah. John, as well. Yeah, thank you for that, Keith. Yeah. Is Colin your your brother? Yeah. Yeah, he was okay. my brother. He, he died a few years ago. Okay, okay. Now, did, did was Colin the one that had Karika? That's with, it. Uh, That's it. With yeah. uh, okay, so I, I I remember I remember that, and then and then um, um, Murray Finley used to work there as well. I used to see him from time to time. I saw him a while ago, and yeah. I gave him a good rev at one of my shows. Or Murray, he doesn't mind. <laughs> yeah. yes, uh, the Finleys, of course, uh, joined up with the Rashmans to. Uh, Mark marrying Lauren. Lauren yes, Finn. of course. Yeah. Uh, Mary's Mary's sister. Yes, that's right. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And I, I see. Um, I see. Uh, uh, Thea Thea Bishank is is uh, is on. Thea is saying that uh, that John Rushmere is an absolute legend. I remember having a second year design lecture at his house. It was so inspiring. Thank you, John. She says. Hey, thank you. I appreciate the words. Thank that's you. the. Uh, and there's our there's our DA councillor as well, Dave Hazelden, saying hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I used to bump into him uh, at, at the Clarendon Park. You know, he would yes. walk dog. I was walking my dog. <laughs> Keep up the work. For yeah. sure. Because yeah. I, I know that... that uh, I can't hear you much. Grant, you oh. just giving me a, 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 th a thumbs up here. What? Oh, okay, yes. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, yes. Yeah, Trevor, Trevor and Susan are on from uh, the UK. They're great friends. Oh, excellent. Um, anyway, let's just say hello to them. They're, yeah, they're watching you live on their, on their TV. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a very fine photographer. He's done wonderful wildlife photography. He was the official photographer for uh, for the Kruger National Park, in fact, for Sand wow. Parks and the Park. 
So wow. I have Trevor and a few. Yeah. Excellent to have everyone as well. And then I see uh, Keith saying onion row and warmer. Nice spot that, John, indeed. Yeah, and um, yeah, But we'll, we'll talk about the architecture later. When, when, you, when you left school now, uh, uh, John, did, did you go straight into architecture? Was that always going to be a thing for you? No, that's an interesting question. Yeah. I, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but there were three clues, really. Yeah. Uh, one was I was fascinated by... Uh, blueprints, which are the prints of architectural drawings. Yeah. Uh, and then we had a, a science textbook, which was quite interesting. It was an A4 format, and the left-hand side was the text and all the information. On the right-hand side, we had to draw experiments. Uh-huh. And I used to make it 3D, you know, get the spheres to look <laughs> like spheres and the pipes to look like pipes. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> my drawings were always held up as an example to the class. <laughs> so I had a bit of drawing skill there. Yeah. And the third thing was that uh, of all the disciplines in our maths schedules, I loved geometry the most. And ah. got, always got very, very high marks for that. So there were three clues there sort of pushing me towards architecture. Yes. And um, I took a year to make certain, I, a gap year where I worked in Port Elizabeth for a firm of architects. And that confirmed, oh, wow. that confirmed what I wanted to do. So, Which firm did you work for back then? Uh, Simpson and Hugh. Oh, Simpson, okay. oh, Hugh. Hugh. Simpson and Peter Hugh. Yeah. That must have been Hugh Road. Uh, yeah, That's, I think it was yeah. probably the same family, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One well, well, in rugby circles. Okay. Okay, and so 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 you took that yeah that's that's um I mean that that's quite a big step for for like a eighteen year old what were you like nineteen? Well, in a way, you know, it, it it really worked for me because I had yeah. stretched out a bit, and um, okay. in that year, I put on weight, my body got stronger, so yeah. when I arrived in Cape Town, um, I was ready for rugby. Uh, okay. No. She was so you got it right and but also it's I think it's the confidence and and whatever you choose in the, in that sort of line it it gives you uh, it, like, like you say you, you you knew that the rugby was going to be lacquer and it was going to be good so so it gives you that confidence like I can do this you know if if even if everything else fails I've got something to to to, to go get back on you know <laughs> <laughs> I mean Cape Town is a great tradition and yeah. a great tradition of rugby and. Um, yeah, we we were privileged in having so much talent available, you know. So so we, it, but it was great rugby. I mean, the yeah. rugby crowds at at um, club games, anything yeah. up to twenty thousand people, sure. unheard of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In, fact, in fact, one of the provincial games I played against Western Transvaal, we ran onto the field, and there were streams of people leaving the field because Cape Town University had played in the main curtain raiser. And uh, <laughs> really? they come to watch the curtain race, they're not to watch Western <laughs> Province. <laughs> so they actually the, the varsity games were, were were better attended than the than the provincial oh, games. Yeah, they, yeah, they were very well attended. Gee, was and, and and so okay, so I mean you go get down to Cape Town, you you know, you got built, built a bit of conference from this and you, and you went straight into architecture. I mean, yeah. um w- w- would you have done art as well? Or, are you no. uh, have yeah. you done anything never, like that? I was never that good. At, at all. Okay. No. Um, oh, you know, my mother. My mother would have said, "You just didn't try properly, John." <laughs> yeah, Jenny. Well, I know Jenny so well. I hope she's well. <laughs> no, no, she's. You know, it's 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 like my, my mom. She she always say like uh, uh, like um you know as long as you follow in what you what you love you know that's your that's your main thing. You know? yeah, and uh, sure. so yeah. so clearly you, you kind of you you were focused and, and I know even my wife Philip and I say that like, she was uh, she knew she was going to become a teacher. So you knew you were going to do architecture already, and that's a very uh, that's that's quite rare. Um, like you said, you took that that gap year, but you had the had the foresight to do that, you know. So that's yeah. that's a very yeah, focused yeah, thing to do as a youngster. It was more really. Um, I wasn't that certain, and that is why okay. that is why I stuck around for a year. I, I didn't want to make a, a big mistake. Okay. But okay. Uh, so that one year was the proof that I needed. That that yeah. that's where I wanted to go. And who was helping to guide you back then? Was that, that your mom or your or, you know? Or Not really. Your fa- not really. It was something I had to make up my own mind. Jeez, uh, our headmaster at the time, yeah, he favoured that decision. 
he thought that okay. was where I should be going. So I did have some support. Okay, okay, good. Yes, <laughs> all right. Yes, who was the who was the headmaster? It was a great then. You Flash say, Gordon. Flash Gordon. Flash, Flash Gordon. Gordon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My word. And there we go. Uh, Chanel Deacon. Uh, Ch Chanel Edgar saying, "Love it. She is lovely to see you, John." That's so sweet of you. Thank you. <laughs> who's Chanel? Do you, who's Chanel? No, is that a family of yours? No, she's not a family. No. Oh, okay, no. okay, 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 okay. No, I see Davina, Davina Coombs as well saying, Davina watching from Wimbledon this evening. She moved yeah. overseas just recently. That's quite right, yes. Yeah, she was. That is, that is, that is really interesting. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. It, 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 the best thing about this is that people can watch from anywhere, like literally anywhere they are. <laughs> I really didn't so, know that. I thought this was yeah. very local. No, well, it's it's about PE, but, yeah. you know, the expats are out there. The Once PE, always beat PE, you know what I mean? <laughs> <That's it. laughs> All right, so, so um, um and, and then, uh, you know, you, you start, how many years is, how many years the architecture degree? Is that, is that four or five uh, years? It used to be, it used to be at Cape Town University six. Six years, six okay. Years. Yes, the so one was, year was uh, was an out year where you were expected to go out and work for a year ah. and travel. So it was like five, five academic years. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much what it is today. Same thing. Yeah. Did you have any mentors, any, any mentors, any guys that you looked up to back then with, with that sort of... Oh, yes. Uh, no, that was, but that was postgraduate. Um, yeah. Postgraduate, I was very fortunate. Uh, I moved to Johannesburg. I had to get out of the comfort zone of Cape Town. It was far too comfortable. I needed to challenge myself. Went to Jobu uh, and, um, and shifted wow. from the firm that I was working for and, and went yeah. up there. Uh, I shifted across to join a group of young guys. They were older than me, uh, around about three, four years older. But they'd all studied in America. Okay. And, um, and they were my mentors in a way. They called them yeah. the young types of Joburg. And I sort of hung in there and, um, and benefited tremendously from that relationship. Anthony Longer, yeah. I'd love to mention their names. Anthony Longer. Yes, please, yeah. yeah. Uh, Anthony Longer, uh, Willie Mayer, yeah. Glenn Gallagher, uh, all talented people. Uh, so I learned from the best. Yeah. That, that's that's great, you know, and, and, and when you are in a, an industry like that, uh, to have that, that group, you know, that little bunch that work together and that you're thinking of new ideas, you, you're pushing each other, you know, almost all the time. That's exactly, you've got it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I know my, my son is uh, my son has got he's, he's got himself a hot desk now at, uh, at down, down in uh, in Central, and they've got a whole lot of guys that are they, they they hire these hot desks, you know, and they just sit and it's like a, a hub. I think it's a great plan, you know, that sort of thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he's just got out of school. Excellent, uh, Sean. Yeah. I'll say. Sean Paul says, John, any relation to Colin and his son Mark? Yes, I think that's your that's your yeah. nephew, and and Colin's your your your, your no, late brother. My late brother, correct? Yeah. Yes, and EP EP opening batsman with Philip M. That's correct. <laughs> so don't don't remind me about about Colin. That's my brother's name. Uh, he and Jeff Dakin. Yes, uh, another character from the Eastern Cape. Absolutely. Players, I was playing for Western Bronze against Eastern Province of Newlands. Oh. And the first wicket fell, wait for it, yeah. at 312. <laughs> <laughs> Bugger. <laughs> you know, that's like Clarendon Park versus Queen, Queen's College. <laughs> An old bone. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> That's even worse. You, yeah. you, you worry about me telling my my bad stories about cricket, John? I think you might have topped mine. <laughs> oh, love it! Yeah, it's I love it but... it's at least, at least, I'm part of a record. <laughs> yes, even you are. I'm yes. <laughs> I don't know if congratulations are in order. There we go. <laughs> uh, Alec Riddle says hi there, and he says a great contribution to the city. Oh, well, thank you, Alec. Yeah, you're a star, yeah. man. Yeah. And so, okay, so so then uh, finished off your varsity there, uh, went to Joburg. Did, did you start working in a – oh, oh she, uh, there's uh, – Davina saying, how's Shirley? I also want to find out how's Shirley. She was chirping when I was talking to you the other day, but she's, yeah, that's she hasn't right. seen – She's inclined to chirp. 
<laughs> no, she's she's a hundred. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. She's, well, she's as, and hello to you, Shirley. I hope. Second. No, I said thanks for asking. <laughs> yes, no, 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 Shirley. I, I I don't know if she's she might be watching at home, but if she is, Shirley, I also want to say thank you for for uh, for what you guys did for us little buggers when we were younger. Because <laughs> like I said to you, that I, I was talking earlier, they're saying that they really the 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 moms at that time really gave up a lot of their lives to to and 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 their their kind of dreams and things that they wanted to do for the kids. You know, it it was yeah. the done thing at that time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, so, so for sure, and Shirley, you're a legend too. And uh, uh, I mean, okay, so so we we we're at the at the point where where you know sort of looking for uh, looking for work. You 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 finished your varsity. No, no, no. You're with us, guys. No, 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 no. Um, yeah. Uh, if I was still in Port Elizabeth, I think I would uh, yeah. I would still be connected to the university. Yeah, no, no. I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying for, for no, when, when you were, when you were, when I finished varsity after you finished varsity. Oh, sorry, sorry. At, 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 yeah, at UCT, and then, and then you, you had to find work, I suppose. Or, uh, well, those guys. Be, uh, the professor uh, of yes. the school of architecture, he asked me to come and work for him, and during oh. that year, I realised everything was far too comfortable. Uh, I was still a student, effectively, in my mind, and yeah. uh, yes. I knew I had to get the hell out of it. And I still had some ambition sports-wise, so I couldn't leave the country. A lot of my friends went off yeah. to England, to London. Yes. And the furthest I could go was Joburg to challenge myself. <laughs> I knew nobody there. Yeah. And, um, and Shirley and I were engaged at that stage. Wow, so I left okay. my fiance behind and all my friends that in digs. I yeah. ventured up to the Big Bag Apple. And, um, yeah. yeah, and that's where things you know, began for us. Um, yeah. Soon after that, we got married. And then I decided to move from where I was working because yeah. these young Turks that I talked about, yes. they quite liked the work I'd done, my thesis and so on, and they invited me to join them, which okay. was uh, quite an honor and so on, so which, which I then did. And I have to say, I was the pupil, they were the teacher. Really? And, uh, that's, that's where I really grew as an architect. It's my, it's really my postgraduate experience. Yeah, you know, I always say if, if you the the experience is is your your top learning, uh, the, the, the the top of your learning. You know, you could, it, it, when, once you jump into a job and you're in the deep end and you've got to swim, you know. Yes, better to prepare yourself properly, get fit. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And uh, so cool. that pretty much was it. As I say, it was it was like a postgraduate course in architecture. They were yeah. two or three years ahead. They were a Wits, a Wits culture. They came from the yeah. Wits okay. University. That's where they qualified. And they yeah. studied, as I say, in, in America under Lou Kahn, who was a leading architect of that generation. Okay. And so wow. they had a lot to offer, you know, as teachers. Yes. Um, so I was very fortunate. Yeah, that must have been amazing. And, and you're right in the thick of it, you know. So, um, I, what was the first project that you really got involved in? Got your hands dirty, and 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 you were and you were sort of a proud. Now, of, you, uh, now you're testing my memory. Come on, I, did, <laughs> I, I really can't remember. <laughs> I'm sure it was a building of some kind. I'm sure it was a house, but yes, I can't house. remember. Okay, so did you start you start with that. Do, do you do you enjoy what what is the the project? What is the, the what are the projects that you enjoy doing? Uh, it doesn't matter. You know the doesn't design process is the same. Um, so in a career, I think most architects will do quite a variety of building types. Yeah. Certainly for me, uh, yeah, uh, that's the case. You know, commercial buildings, yeah. university buildings, school buildings, yeah. residences, the cricket stadium sure. uh, in, in Port Elizabeth and so on. So, I find it yeah. fascinating because it's, you, you've almost got to put a different – Completely different uh, out uh, uh, sort of vision of, of of what the what the the use of the building is, and then also you know then and still make it look beautiful. And it's just like it blows my mind. It really does. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, you put your finger on it. You know, the uh, whatever the purpose of the building is. Yeah, it, it is really important that the architect really investigates, interrogates um, what are really just names of rooms. For instance, yeah. you know, if in in designing a house, yeah, the brief might be living room, dining room, open kitchen, 
uh, three bedrooms, a couple of bathrooms, and some garaging. That might be the brief. Yes, yes. But for the architect, it's those become places, places to eat, places to cook, places to sleep. So they yes. become place, place which human occupation, human action, human activity, and uh, yeah. and it should be a celebration of that. And building should be yeah. a celebration of of the things we do. Yes, absolutely, and and doesn't that then give you? Because I'm I've uh, just in in my up to my fiftieth. I'm fifty two now, and uh, and and you know I've I've just developed a love for 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 the way things are designed. And an archi architect, you can see immediately if an architect has been involved in something, or if they haven't been, you know, <laughs> because it's just that guy. He's gone there. Okay, yeah, luister, ek was is a vierkant en met a triangle op it. And it was Facebook, I took Facebook, I took a bloody fair fee. <laughs> but well, you know, you know, you know it's uh, an architect, he, his, his working life is in the public eye. And of course, yeah. everybody has got an opinion about buildings. Yeah. They, all, they all know their stuff. And this one likes it and that one doesn't like it and so on. So you're in the public view all the time, you know, as yeah. doctors and, and lawyers and accountants and other professions. You're yeah. tucked away nice and safely in your offices, yes. in, your, in your surgeries and whatever. But as yes. an architect, you're out there catching fleck. <laughs> yes, because once you've done something, it's right out there. And it's like uh, the, some of the some of the projects that you've done have been absolutely amazing. I mean, I mean, the, the stadium was one. I think I sent you a photo because I was looking at that that stadium. And I and I want to know, John, what what was the the inspiration? Is, is that a little bit of Bauhaus in there? Is there no, a little no. bit of Bauhaus? No, is no. there not? No, no, the Bauhaus. The no, shapes. The Bauhaus was nineteen twenties. Yeah, no, um, no. But I was thinking, I was thinking like you know, it goes in. It, doesn't that that whole thing? I, I love the the Art Deco and the Bauhaus and those things. How they, how they they influence things, you know? Yeah. Well, no. The, the that that's, the stadium arises from yeah. its from the forces at play uh, yeah. in the environment, the park. For instance, yeah. just to give you an example. If you're interested, yes, I'm interested uh, in what your inspiration uh, was and why you did it. Because then I can look at it next time. I'm there. <laughs> well, the cricket, uh, the cricket followers, are just another minority uh, in the city, yeah. and yeah. the people that use the park uh, cover quite a lot of the minorities. And so, yeah. to just put the back of a stadium um, bluntly overlooking the park and dwarfing it. Um, yeah was not on. Uh, the, the, it, okay. So it was a challenge to build a friendly building, which is the yes. back of a pavilion. Hence the, uh -huh. the brick wall uh, with the vaults, arches. Yeah. Um, everybody likes a colonnade. And, yes. and so it's a friendly structure. And then at the top, which they've stupidly obliterated, uh, I yeah. had a long walkway at the top of the brick yeah. wall. So people oh, wow. could get up and, and, and walk outside into the north sun and have a smoke, yeah. look down, chat to people in the park, calling up what's oh. the school, that sort of thing. And that yes. unfortunately has gone now, so people didn't understand. But okay. then I, I make it a point of not going back to the buildings I designed. Once they're built, really? all, well, all things can happen. So I yeah. tend not yeah. to go back. Uh, and then you get irritated because there's no walkway. Well, <laughs> no, they don't belong to me. Uh, yes, you know, I've, I've got no right to be irritated. It's just that I prefer to remember the building as I think it should be. Yes, uh, yes. Because yeah. yeah, th those those things and the way architects always talk, they talk about the language of the <laughs> the building. Yeah, the thing. Well, you know, they've got their own words that they use. Yeah. Yes, the <laughs> jargon is is dangerous. I, I yes. try and stay away from jargon, but language yes. actually is um, is a word that that is appropriate because. The expression of a building is a form yeah. of language, and yeah. uh, that's how we understand buildings. And and I mean uh, the um, and Onion Row as well, of course, was the other one. You stayed you stayed there for for a long time as well. And, and yeah. I see Mike van Feeren is is commenting. He says, "How long would it normally or ordinarily take to design a, a building like the Duck Bond Pavilion?" Well, we didn't have time. Uh, we oh. were given the commission one year. Wow. From from being complete uh, for a match <laughs> we played against, I think it was the West Indies. The West Indies yeah. or India, I can't remember who played the first game. 
So we had one year, and uh, whatever the the uh, the Eastern Province Cricket Union lost, if we were late, uh, we would have to cough up uh, the professional team. So the rush, the the race was on. I mean, I was working from three o'clock in the morning uh, yeah. for many weeks uh, just to keep up with the pressure of what needed to be designed wow. and so on. Yeah, that was hectic. <laughs> yeah, would you say that was the hardest you've ever worked? That's the hardest I've ever worked, yeah. Really? I worked right that... through Christmas, Christmas Day, New Year's Day, New Year's Day. I worked right through the lot. Your family must have loved you. Where's John? Ah, oh, he's working again. They don't understand, John. They didn't understand. <laughs> yeah. No, that was, that's when I was started work at 3 o'clock in the morning. You know, just, yeah. Because I, I had about five guys helping me draw. And I needed to inform them. That's kind of half yes. past seven in the morning. I needed to go there and inform them of the work ahead. Uh, there was no time for pens now. Uh, was, yeah. yeah. That is crazy. Well, it was exciting. Though. It was exciting and, yeah. and worthwhile. Great experience, actually. Great experience. But, um, and, and, and it's... Unfortunately, uh, the... unfortunately um, yeah. I'm just going to throw this in here. Yeah. Um, a bit of interference from the client... And yeah. they forced a change in the specification, which is why that stadium rusted within four years. In fact, I got it spot on. I oh. warned them that because they instructed us yeah. to change oh. the specification. The steel. Nothing to do, and and uh, they wouldn't hear of of the reasons why you couldn't have a paint finish. Uh, somebody who worked for them yeah. had said, "No, you don't need to get galvanized. You can just paint." The trouble yes. is. Uh, the, journey of of steel, yeah, the, the journey of a piece of steel from manufacture onto a building site, I mean, yeah. it's get, got chains around it. It gets chucked onto concrete yeah. floors. There's no paint on it. It just starts to rust. Yeah. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get positive. Yes, the, gal <laughs> the galvanizing. No, I know the vibe because because that, that's actually touching on something there with the architect and then the builder, you know, <laughs> it's the it's the two guys, and one's like such a practical oak, and I you know I just want to get this stuff here and give it built, and then the architect's like, oh yeah, you know, the double volume here, and then the this, and the, you know, how do these people ever match up? Yeah, no, we we had a wonderful builder, a wonderful one. Okay. guy. He was the, the the foreman, the head foreman on on site. Was Who was brilliant. that? Can you remember his name? Um, Harry, 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 something. I'll, I'll think okay. of it before the end of the show. Okay. Um, <laughs> but a, a wonderful guy. Um, yeah. And without him, it could never have been achieved. He was so Jeez. organized. So organized. Um, special. Was that... That is a massive book. She was it. It is big. I mean, it's just, it's not, but you, like I said, it's not imposing. It's, it's just, it looks beautiful. And, and, and it's, um, if we look at, if you look at your, your stuff, you've got a certain style, have you not? Not really. No, not really. Uh, you, you know, each, each site, yeah. each piece of landscape is different and okay. the briefs are different. You know, the, 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 the function, the purpose of the building is different. And yeah. a lot of these differences inform the, the, the building ultimately. So people yeah. might think I have yeah. a style. I don't have a style. No. Style is a word I don't yeah. like. <laughs> oh, oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> so, you know, I won't use also, that again. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now, the old ones who, you know, who approach architects and say they want this style or that style. A, uh -huh. The word style really is, is just labeling. Yeah, a way of building in certain areas of the world. Or you mean putting it in a box? Or certain periods in the world. That's yes. true. So you talk about, for instance, the colonial styles, Georgian and Victoria. Yes. Uh, yes. That really refers to the to the buildings of that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as so you prefer a time, you prefer no, a time thing, but you... no, no, no. I'm saying that we build in the present. If you're building now, you build in the present. If you're designing the but, present. I need to put it in a box, John. I can't have this. <laughs> I can't have this airy fairy stuff going around. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Wendy Nell says, "Do architects now have to focus on st sustainability? Is it a choice, or there or, or there laws in place to enforce it?" That has become a very very powerful shaper of yeah. building. Uh, good, very very good question. It wasn't, okay. it wasn't an issue when I was practicing. Uh, it became an issue um, after that. 
and um, and yes, certain uh, architects have that responsibility. Yeah, it's it is a it is a responsibility now. It's because you have we have to. Um, yeah, and there are and there are, are bylaws and regulations, national yes. building regulations, um, okay. that uh, push you into that yes. way of thinking about buildings. Uh huh. Okay, and then uh, there, there was a. I'm sure there was, was there a house in River Road that you did as well. Uh, Halfway down, at I'm just trying to think now because we, yeah, we, I mean, I'm in Thomas Road, and I and I always look at this house, and I wonder if it was you that that designed it. I did do a house there. Um, yeah. Yes, I did a house there. I'm pretty sure. I, I, I think it might have even got an award. I think Flinton. Uh, I, th I thought it was maybe Flinton. Did get here, an but, award. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Um, but that, yeah, that because so 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 you wouldn't say you if somebody could look at a building and say, oh, that's John Rushmere. Is there anything about a building that they could say? I don't think so, Gina. I, I, I honestly don't think so. Um, yeah, my buildings really are very very different, and and, and yeah. really have to do with the circumstances, the particular circumstances of each one. Yeah, hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, I, I see that um, uh, Sean Pauls has got a, got a question here. He says, uh, are architects aware of the longevity of their skill that plays such an important role in, uh, in one's lives from their designs and, and the memories it instills? instills. Uh, for example, Castle Corner. <laughs> Castle Corner? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's still called Castle, Castle Corner. Castle <laughs> Corner? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't think one, you know, buildings last as long as they are useful or loved. Yeah. And, um, yeah. That's up to the future. One, one, one doesn't specifically design to last beyond 100 years plus forever. <laughs> yeah. Gee, was I, so those, those bloody Egyptians were pretty good then with their stuff. <laughs> 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 but John, uh, what what what, do you, what are some of your favourite spaces in PE that you can remember? Wow, well, that's come out of the blue. Um, yeah. Uh, ooh, that's that's difficult. Oh, really? uh, well, you know, I'm going to leave my own work out. I do. I did okay. love living in Onion Row. I mean, Onion Row. Yeah. Well, with the with peppermint grass, I believe uh, Mike was telling me peppermint grass. Peppermint grass. <laughs> What is, yeah, there I, is some... I think I know what he's talking about. Yeah, okay. Uh, there is a yes. grass which, which, when you walk on it, yes. Uh, well, what is it called? Penny, penny something. Okay. Somebody in the in the comments can can think of the name, but apparently yeah. you walk on it and then you smell peppermint as you're walking along. That sort of thing. Yes, I'm, I'm not sure what is peppermint or what it was, but <laughs> there is definitely. Um, it's not really a grass. It's not. It hasn't got blades. Oh. It's got oh, okay. small leaves, small round leaves. When you walk ah. on it, it releases a, a beautiful smell. Really? But I don't know what oh. that's going to do with my architecture. <laughs> no, no, no. It's got nothing. No, it's oh, just that he remembered that. He, he just right. remembered that. Well, he's absolutely, she's right. Penny um, Royal. There we go. Is that the one? Camilla Penny Ellis Royal. says. He's got yes. it. Penny Royal. And he planted <laughs> it in Onion Row. That's quite right. Okay. She's right. Wow. She's <laughs> <laughs> you You know, we, we're testing your, we're testing your, your memories here. Uh, and so, so yeah. Other than other than your own buildings, then obviously, your, and um, your your favorite places in PE. Well, can that include landscape? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because because non buildings is also very beautiful, and I'm, yeah. I'm rather sad. But the Duncan Reserve, um, yeah. if only it had been left as a simple meadow. With yeah. the grass swaying in winds and so on, and wow. instead of all the all the uh, so-called art uh, yeah. works that have been that have been that clutter that clutter what is just yeah. that simple hill. That's my, one of my big regrets. I think I think the uh, the Duncan Reserve really was special. It, somebody once called it a balcony, a balcony to the sea, and uh -huh. I think that's a wonderful way to describe it. Um, Quite Simplicity, then. Yeah, very, yes, to keep it simple, instead yeah, of which, yeah. become, as I say, quite cluttered. But um, yeah, I love that space. Of course, I love the beaches again, open air, so on. 
Um, yeah. I, I would have to think about buildings, what buildings I enjoyed. Yeah. The feather market has always been spectacular. Beautiful, um, beautiful. And changed a bit. Yeah. Uh, when it was turned into a concert hall. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, Grant, uh, Gra Graham Grant is online here. Yeah, he says, uh, "He says, John, your buildings are identifiable by your attention to detail and purpose. Nothing to do with style." There we go. There we go. That's no, his take. No, Graham, thank you for that. Uh, listen, Graham was a great guy. There were there were three friends. He was one of the three. Albert oh, yes. Mason, Graham Grant. I can't remember the third one. <laughs> Grant will remember. We'll put it put it in the comments. Grant. Yeah, but, I do remember encouraging them to create a, a, a triple story building out of the desks that we were given to draw on so that they could look out the windows that were at sort of fan light level. Yes. <laughs> and, and they were told to immediately dismantle it. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, no. I, I thought it was a great, great initiative, but anyway, yeah, wasn't yeah, appreciated you know. by the authorities. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't. <laughs> now, I believe, because uh, I believe you had a couple of mates here that you used to spend time with as well. What, what, what's the boardroom, guys? Yes, uh, you're talking about uh, the board. No, we call it the board. The board. Oh, the board. Spelled, that's spelled B O R E D, not B O R E D. Oh, right. <laughs> the board, guys. Yeah, and there, were, there were about eight. eight Eight of us, eight, nine, ten of us sometimes, we'd meet for coffee every morning. Oh, I love we it. We did that for 15 years, whatever. I mean, it was wonderful. We started the day with, we were all retired and so on. So yeah. we started the day having a cup of coffee and a chat. Lovely, lovely. Let's just get the it's, conversation it going. Known, it was even known in London. We, we, we got feedback Oh, really? <laughs> London, <bro. laughs> Fantastic. Oh, who, who, who were those guys? So, so those are your close, your close mates then? Those... Well, they, yeah, they were amongst my close mates. Yeah, yeah I yeah, mean, yeah, I've listened yeah. to Jeff Dake and Jeff was part yes. of that. Jeff, we've uh, got to get Jeff on the show as well. I know, because he's, he's, he's another be character. He'd be great. Yeah. And he's I contributed so. tremendously to the Eastern Cape. So yeah. he's a worthy man. Yeah. No, for sure. We've had Bella on. You know, Bella's oh, been he's... on. <laughs> And she's mm -hmm. firebrand. She's a firebrand, yeah. One of them. Yeah. Lovely sense of humor. A lot of fun. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No, no, no. So that's why you cannot uh, deny that Bella's full of, not full of fun. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and, and so, so uh, and it's, I mean, obviously your, your, um, your, your uh, architecture stuff, your, with, with your, um, uh, what would you say was the most enjoyable project that you ever worked on, like throughout your, your entire career? Was was there one particular one? Or was there a whole, I'm sure there were lots. Oh uh, well, I have to say that apart from the interference from the client, um, yeah, I really did enjoy the stadium. Okay, having that uh, Harry as the site foreman, and uh -huh. it was really exciting to watch it go up. And we were designing yeah. as it as it went up. So that was that was um, yeah. a very really exciting building to be to be part of during its construction phase. And then there's a building in Grahamstown. Uh, there used to be a building society called the Permanent Building Society. Yes. Shortened Somebody mentioned the, the Perm Building, yeah. Uh, the Perm Building, yeah, in High yeah. Street. Um, I really enjoyed that. Again, had a wonderful form. You know, buildings are not one-man one man shows. You know, there's so yeah. many people that come to the party. The people that, that you work with in your own office, they contribute. And, of course... Uh, the contractors have the job of putting it all together, and they do yeah. they do some amazing work. Really, you challenge them with some really complex yeah. stuff, and they come up trumps every time. They're wonderful people, contractors. Yes, I mean, I'm amazing when 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 I when I see these big things going up with the boxing and stuff that goes into this. I, I mean, it just the the concrete and it, it's unbelievable the the scale. You know? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> and, I suppose and, and, that's why we go to varsity for five years. Uh, oh, sure, I'm sure. And and uh, on the civil side, you didn't do uh, any any uh, roads or anything like that. It was your thing? No, no, that's uh, engineering. Is Those, that, that different? No, no that's I mean, engineering I, structure. That's very different. Very different. Okay, because so no. I'm a bit of a philistine when it comes to this stuff. <laughs> no, architecture <laughs> was strictly about buildings. 
Okay, 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 cool. And um, have you ever been in, have you ever been involved in a in a project? Gary's put a, a quick note on a project which turned out disastrously for any reason. <laughs> we need to know. That. Uh, no, actually, no. Uh, that's an honest reply. I, I, yeah. I, I'm fortunate in not having that happen to me. Yeah, good. So you always worked with good because uh, it's 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 um it's it's normally going to happen in the in the building process if something falls over or some or, or collapses yes. or something. Yeah. No. It, it, listen, there have been uh, there, there 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 have been problems in in a, in a construction yeah. phase, and you just sort them out. You know, and re and collaborate with the contractor. Um, yeah. But not often. Any, any specific stories you can remember where it cost a lot of money? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. No, no, not really. No, I, I can't really say that, uh, yeah. you know, you tackle them as they arise because problems yeah. arise. Unexpected things happen on a building site. Yeah. Uh, and you just got to deal with them. So they're just part of the part of being an yeah. architect. That's true, yeah. Well, well uh, I mean, I know you're you're very well respected. I'm, my cousin is an architect, Sean Sean uh, Fogarty. And they got Fogarty and Bolshoy here, and I, and I said to him, yes, "I'm going to get John." Yes, says, "Oh, yes. he wants to see that." <laughs> no, no, no. I and of course, the... uh, Sean is uh, Sean Bolshoy is also married to Kathy Wiseman. We were talking about the Wisemans just now as well. Oh, okay. uh, I, I didn't yeah. mention that. Yeah, but I know, <laughs> yes. I know him well. Yes, okay. so, escape names again. You know, they're, they're, all of the, yes, uh, and I don't know, um, I mean, uh, you, you obviously at, at then at Varsity as well, for a uh, professor at the Varsity for a long time too. Yeah. Uh, did, did you start lecturing there or? Interesting question. When I came down from Johannesburg to, to join the partnership that I, that I played a, a part with, uh, when I came down, what was the question again? It suddenly flew out of my mind. Yeah, no, no, no. The 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 um, where you, where you started out with lecturing at varsity. So yes, yes, that's right. Uh, you get involved. Uh, the then the then head of the school um, yeah. asked me to become a, a part time lecturer and examiner. So from the start of the school, right at the very very beginning, I was informally uh, attached to the university. Okay. Uh, giving giving odd lectures, examining and and. Um, helping the students in the studio, and they would also okay. come to my office and so on. So right from the very word go, and then um, for a, a brief period, I helped one of the heads of the school. For three years, I, it suited us because it was a tough time in the profession. So I went to full-time to assist him, then okay. back to practice, and then um, towards the end of my career, uh, the, the staff uh, asked me if I wouldn't make myself available to be head of the school, which wow, was okay. uh, flattering, and I, I really appreciated yeah. their trust in me. And um, I agreed to do it. So uh, for six or seven years, I was head of the school. Yeah. That's fantastic. I, I, and so, so, I mean, it, it, that is one of the, uh, the people always say that that's the, your, your legacy is almost uh, is, is the, the people that you've you helped so right. to, on, on the careers, saying. you know. Yeah, you're so right. I mean, yeah. If one thinks about the building as one has managed to do in one's own lifetime, and yeah. you compare that with possibly influencing buildings many, many, many times more yes. than the buildings you were personally involved in. It's Exponentially. So if, if, if I helped students, I'm grateful that I was able to do that and um, set them on a path. Well, I think some of your students are on your say, I see Teresa's here. She's saying, um, Port Elizabeth is not the same without you, John. She says, <laughs> and she says, thank you for all that you shared with us during your four, your, your, your years at, at the university. You are pure gold, forever grateful to you and Shaw, she says. Oh, That's Teresa. Teresa, no, it's, but she's special. Um, she is, she is really special. Uh, we had quite an advantage over other universities because Teresa, um, was the first year studio leader. She oh. was head of the first year uh, studio. And of okay. course, you, you are fielding uh, boys and girls that have come out of school yeah. that have been force fed, um, yes. whatever. And they come into the bewildering world of having to create 
um, buildings on paper. And it's a, yeah. it's a huge leap, much bigger yeah. than get, picking up different textbooks that maybe yeah. have to do with medicine or law instead of science yes. and history. Uh, but yeah. with architecture, you're leaping into a blank, sh a blank paper and you've got to put yeah. something on that blank paper that's got to make sense. And uh, she did it wonderfully. She, she actually was the foundation. I've, I've said it to her and others. She was yes. the foundation yeah. of our school. Uh, Teresa was very special. She's an artist she as well. Oh, um, lovely. And, and now, she's, now she's a doctor. <laughs> she's, okay. she's got a, a doctor and a, you know. a, a, I mean, a doctorate. A, a doctor, yes, you know. yes, yes. Yes, of course, yeah. Yes. And I, that, that, that's fantastic. And I, 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 I'd like to see where, where art and, and architecture comes together as well. That sounds, that sounds good. Uh, Mike von Fieren uh, what, says, what are your thoughts on the PE Rugger Stadium? Is that the uh, the new one he's talking about? The new? I wonder if he's talking about the new one or the old one that's yes, been no, demolished. He's about the new one. The old one. Yes. Uh, old one has slowly been falling apart. Yes, it's disappearing um, brick by brick. That, and that was not a successful stadium. I don't want to go into that, but yeah. it wasn't really um, uh, worth hanging on to. Really. You mean the sorry boot? You're talking about the boot now. Sorry to say that, but but the. Uh, the other pavilion, yes. I yes. mean, it's spectacular. Uh, it's it's in the mold of so many other uh, stadiums around the world. Yes. Very evocative, um, and it it works. Uh, you know, yeah. it's uh, you've been there, uh, have you? Yeah, I have. I have, and and I must admit that it flows. It you know, you, when when you're walking in there, uh, the the crowds literally can get out there very quickly you know it's it's a uh, it seems to flow nicely the, the way that, they, that they've designed it's something, it's something that's moved with the times and and yeah. uh, so i think it's an asset uh, to port yeah. elizabeth a, a great asset and i'm glad that rugby has found its way there and sharing yes. it with football yeah i need yeah. to do that um is, is there anything that's that's commonly misunderstood about architects oh yeah. i think so i think there's uh, even by architects, I think there's a misunderstanding. Yeah. Because the, um, ultimately, what it is, uh, our human action, it's human action being uh, married in a way to the landscape. Yeah. And so you, you really got to understand the landscape, you've got to interpret the landscape um, in relation to the sun, the movement of the sun, and not through analysis, but rather through, as I say, interpretation and understanding. And then uh, one gets this brief to just go back to uh, yeah. the average dwelling, you know, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, this, that, and the other. Yeah. Uh, you know, the first thing I used to do was think of them as bedrooms as places to sleep, a yeah. kitchen, places to cook, place to cook. Yeah. And, of course, a dining space is a place to eat. And so you put the human being in there. And, and you begin to then translate uh, the action uh, into space. Uh, yeah. No, that's. Yeah, I'm, I can't give you. A, it, it's a different way of uh, of looking at it. You know, you have to. You have to. You have to so always have, put, uh, look at it from a from or step back and look at it from a different angle. You know, to try and get. Well, do you know, you know, you know every, every landscape, even a yeah. flat piece of sand in a poor suburb has invitations and has opportunities to do something worthwhile with it. And so yeah. the, the landscape is something that one really has, has to uh, yeah. understand, really understand. And then you, what you're doing is you're merging a human action yeah. um, yes. into the landscape. And that, that's what architecture yeah. is. It's, uh, well, I was listening to a, 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 a podcast the other day about about um, geology, and they were saying that the geology of the land, as well, even from the rocks below below the earth, filters through. You know, the, if it's coal or whatever, then the miners miners live around that area, and then that becomes a mining area. And so, so, so that almost like the geology or the land. <laughs> makes uh, or, or, or makes what's going to happen on top, you know. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just concentrated on what was on top. You're on top, yeah. No, that's a better, a better idea. I don't know. I don't know how deep it goes, you know. <laughs> but uh, okay, so I think 
I think we must have a look now at John at at the um, uh, getting to know you questions. All right, these are these are just like uh, they can be unrelated questions, but they they always dig a little bit deeper into your personality as well. So so we say <laughs> we say um, if you could switch lives with one person for a day, Ooh, who yeah. would it be? One of those sort of questions. Yes, yes, we got to we gotta test test the team here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have not, I have no clue whatsoever. I've never been <laughs> in politics. I'm, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I've been consumed by sport and architecture, basically the two passions in my life. Yes. Um, Wouldn't you like to be a, some sort of musician or something, or a, you know? Or you a, know, a, it's funny you should say star. that. It's it's uh, we've never had a musician in our family, and it in looks like one of my grandchildren is oh. his career is going to be in music. So, so but I'm but, so happy. Growing up with my brother and 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 everybody else in our family, music was the furthest thing from our minds. Yes, but it's this young one, Luke. Music is the international language. It's 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 just wonderful. Yeah. It, it embroiders our lives. I mean, music is really. I think the pinnacle of all human achievement. It's fab. It's fab. But, but now, is that young Luke? That's that's uh, that's the musician. Because I see he was he had a he had a pian because he had a piano lesson tonight. <laughs> I was going <laughs> to use him to do your do your tech, and he said I got a piano lesson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's new. So, that's so that's I'm new. Just, I'm very that's pleased grandson. to hear that. That's grandson. Yes, grandson. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Uh, you know, and um, and I know. This, uh, of course, Grant was with me at Clarendon Park. For those of you who don't know, Grant, Grant yes, is, is John's son. He was with me at Clarendon. We were best mates at uh, grade one and grade two. It's called now Sub A and Sub E at Clarendon, which is just uh, John. Just literally, I mean, I am. I think about five hundred meters from Clarendon here at the moment. This oh, is really? where I, no. Yes, no, no. I'm in Thomas Road down at the bottom. So that's where our studio is. So yeah. I literally throw a stone there. But yeah. um, I'm very pleased to see that Luke is now then then uh, a bit of music coming to the Rashmias. That's good. Yes, now this it's wonderful, uh, and he's 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 been accepted uh, to a, a, a music school in Liverpool, uh, which is oh, sort of magic. Uh, fantastic. Attached to it, but uh, uh, people from all over the world apply to get into it, and and they accepted Luke, which is a feather in his cap. Fantastic. Because he's already started composing music. I mean, he's already into okay. it. Oh, good, 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 good. Uh, that, that's 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 a wonderful thing to have. I see Mike Mike von Furen saying there that um, that you can you can link it all together with architecture by saying it's another brick in the wall because that's a, that's a song. So, <laughs> all in all, it's just another brick in the wall. Um, and, and then, uh, sorry, no, saying no, no, you go. Okay, you go. Uh, something that you've always wanted to try. Um, but you've never had, or, 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 or if you've never had that opportunity, or you've been too, just between too much of a risk, or uh, like no, no. any other thing. No. Like if you if you weren't, let's say let's say if you weren't an architect, what would you have been? What would you have done? I'd probably been a beggar. <laughs> <laughs> just hang around with the sign. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, my imagination doesn't doesn't spread that yeah. wide. I don't think there's yeah, nothing yeah. that I've actually regretted that I haven't been or couldn't have become. Now, but, honestly, and talking about actually talking about that now, John, is because you were into you're into cycling as well. Yeah, I was. Yeah, but only oh, only as a, as a as a fun thing. I promised myself because okay. I'm very competitive, so I yes. promised myself I wouldn't enter any races. I would just ride with them, and it was. I say, it really was. Just wonderful. race them. Try it. Try it sometime. Get on a bike and go out riding. It's brilliant. I'm a bit of a runner myself. I, I enjoy my runs. Oh, go, I run around stars. warmer. You go four yes. stars. You, no, you do. <laughs> You're convincing me, and my mates are telling me I must do this some some cycling. All my mates are cycling, so yeah. I, you know I've I've been resisting it up until now. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's obviously good fun too. Well, no, no, what right. would you say? What would you say the riskiest thing that you've ever done? I don't think I've really put myself out there, uh, other that's than it. driving at crazy speeds. Um, oh, well, that's pretty risky, you know. Yeah, 
Um, <laughs> the wild drive was my racetrack here in Port Elizabeth when I was at university. Oh, um, you mean you mean Cape Town? I mean Cape Town. I mean in Cape Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the Vol Drive down towards town there. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Nice bends. Nice bends. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Nice, yeah. Yeah. nice bends. At... You are saying it? Uh, no, I said I shouldn't admit to it. Breaking the law. But... <laughs> no, I, I, well, I, do enjoy, or I have enjoyed driving always. You know, yes. I've enjoyed that. But risky things. No, maybe I was yeah. too cautious. I don't know. You, you never, you never went down to Scribante and had a go. No, because <laughs> we, we've had the Scribantes on here as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The yeah. two boys yeah. Yeah, interviewed no, them I, too. Yeah, formal racing it, it, it doesn't really grab me. All right. Uh, now, now, a question I always like is, and, and I was going to ask you just now, I actually forgot, but I wanted to ask you, talking about the music, what was the, uh, so telling questions, what was the first record that you ever bought for yourself? Or the first? Okay, it was uh, Nat King Cole. Oh, which one? Is that, is that, is that, the, is that one? No, it's not. Yeah. Um, one of the greatest ballads. Unforgettable. <laughs> that story. <laughs> yeah, no, he was, he was something else, yeah. He was the guy. Um, he, was the yeah, he, was, he was the first, yeah. Okay, okay. And you, uh, did you get into that, Elvis? Remember, that was our, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. That was our generation, remember. Yeah. The, ballad, the great ballad singers like Frank Sinatra. Uh, yes. Nat King Cole. Blue Eyes. Uh, Old Blue Eyes. Yeah. And yes, yeah, certainly, certainly Elvis was was uh, something else. Yeah. He deserved and surely did. Time. Did Shirley also enjoy Elvis, or is she more Beatles? Or, uh, well, it's through her, I got really interested in classical music. The two of us used to ah. go to go to Cape Town, uh, the Cape Town City Hall, where the Cape Town Orchestra yeah. played on Thursday night and a Sunday night. And so we used to go Thursday and Sunday. Lovely, lovely. Yeah. And uh, I mean, are, are you? Are you? Uh, let's let's say. If, when we look back, I mean, are, are you do you long for the nostalgic times, or are you happy to live in the modern world? No, I live live in the moment. In the in, in the, the moment. moment. Yeah. It's, yeah. It sounds like now it matches up with your your architect your 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 architecture now sort of. Now is what yeah. it's all about. I mean, you yes. know, you can't do anything in the past. You can't do anything in the future. You can only do it now. Yeah. Now's, Be happy. It is, it, it is. just got to make it work. And, yeah. Uh, sure. Graham Grant says, uh, John, you're a legend, and thank you, Genie, for exposing a significant brick in the wall, he says. <laughs> <laughs> thank yeah. you, Graham. <laughs> yeah, Graham, thank you. Uh, you're very kind, man. I miss you. Uh, I miss you and, and, and your generation. In fact, all the generations. Yeah, yeah. No, there's, there's, and, and, and PE is still going strong. You know, I've got, I've got loads of, of uh, hope for PE. You know, no, we, you we've... Stick to that. It, it's a, it, it yeah. really is a wonderful city, you know, you know yeah. aesthetically, uh, maybe not, but, yeah. um, but it's got so much going for it, the friendliness. It's, it's not the same in Cape Town. Yes, we've, we've yeah. made friends, lovely friends, yeah. but the, the overall friendliness that, 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 that it just breathes friendliness and yes. uh, something very special about Port Elizabeth, very special to live there. The people that live there are very fortunate. It might be a little bit of an ugly duckling when it comes to comparing cities and the environments yeah. of the cities, but it's still got great beaches. It's Fantastic got beaches. Lovely places inland, you know, and it's got yeah. coastal resorts up and down the coast, all within, yeah. within easy driving distance. It's got a hell of a lot going for it. It's got the Ada Elephant Park, which I know it's a big tourist trap, but it's beautiful, man. Yeah. It's, it's, it's amazing. It is amazing. And, and, and this, the amount of elephants there. I'm actually going to go and do a gig out there in a little while. I don't even know when it is. Oh, Gary's next week. Next week, we're going to Edo. <laughs> so we're going to check out some of the, some of the olifants. The olifants. Yeah. Uh, well, what would you say um, is something that people would be surprised to find out about you? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hell, you do ask where, where do you, you know, get these questions from? I've got a, we've got a couple that we've asked these <laughs> before. <laughs> <laughs> we 
because you know we we like to throw in a curveball here Actually, and there, you know, John. Actually, I'm a very private person. I, I um, is it? I, I've always been preferred to be out of the limelight than in the limelight. Yeah, and that doesn't answer your question, but but nevertheless. Uh, no, well, I think I think it's it's true. I mean, be, being a professor and out there, you'd think you'd always be, be uh, no, no, you know. I, I didn't I didn't allow them to call me professor. They had to call me John. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> you weren't comfortable with that. <laughs> no, no, no. That's uh, you know, it was, I suppose in a way, being called professor was flattering. But um, yeah, to be a an honest professor, you've got to earn that yeah. right through. Doing a serious document, a treatise. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't do that. Okay. So maybe okay. I didn't deserve to be called a, a professor. No, that sounds like you're dragging up some sort of childhood thing now. <laughs> no, no, I think you're completely deserving of it. If you, it speaks in your work, you know, it speaks in your in, in your in, in in what you've done, and uh, and absolutely, I, I can be sh I can be sure that a lot of these um, the the people online are going to agree. But um, but I think it I think it also relates to just a. a um, it's it's that formality that you don't really enjoy that much. You don't. Um, well, I'm very. I'm a very informal person. Yeah. yeah. I, I never. I never wore wore a tie. Yeah. Um, and I, my uniform is shorts. I wear shorts all the time. Kortbroek. Yeah. Now I remember going yes, to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a Kortbroek. Yeah. I remember going to some fancy, hell of a fancy show, at yeah. the Feather Market Hall. You know, with yeah. the black tie. You know, and I put up in a pair of dark jeans, black shoes, a blazer, and a white shirt. And a lot of people said to me, "Oh, jeepers, John! I wish I'd dressed like you." You know, you know. that's exactly <laughs> that's relaxed, true. I was, I was relaxed. I like being like. There we go. <laughs> Teresa says you were awarded honorary honorary professorship. Yeah, that's well, it says. she she worked for her professorship. <laughs> she, she will be a professor. She's actually connected to the. Um, no, she's a wonderful asset to the teaching yeah. world. I mean, she's uh, she's not only teaching at 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 Port Elizabeth University. She's also been roped in by Free State School of Architecture. Free State. Well, great. there's lots of Oxford Corpus there. <laughs> Excellent. No, she says that you were awarded an, an honorary professorship for sure. And, uh, and okay, so so, how do you decompress? What do, do you enjoy? Uh, uh, decompress, uh, uh, relax. Yeah, relax. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm pretty much permanently decompressed now. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, hang with your grandkids. I, no, Shirley and I, we, we eat out a lot. We, we really okay. enjoy that. Okay. You know, there's some okay. wonderful places to eat in um, yeah. in Cape Town. Cape for sure. And, uh, and I've got to share this with you. Yeah. Uh, my son stood us to a meal uh -huh. at a restaurant that, that has been in the top 10 in the world for several uh -huh. years. Yes. It, it, it's awfully expensive. But yes. it, when, I, when I got home, I quickly scribbled it on my bucket list so I could scratch it out. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it's been like a lot. It's called Luck Alum, and I'm, I'm going to charge them for this advert. But Luck if ever you get a chance in Cape Town, Luck Alum, you cannot okay. believe what fine dining really is all about. It's the first time and only time in my life. And I'm glad I did it. Wow. Luck Alum. So well, I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to come and uh, do it, but I'll, I'll take Grant so that he can pay for it as well. Then. <laughs> no, no, the thing is, don't, don't pronounce Luck Alum, uh, you know, as a South African. Like lekker. 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 It, yeah, like it is like a lekker lom. It is like a lom, but it's like a lom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, that, that sounds like you when you've just when you've just finished the Iron Man. No, you don't know it's no like a lom, worry. <laughs> oh no. So do do you still keep your hand sort of in uh, active with the architectural projects or or are you completely no. retired now? I'm Nothing. Completely now. retired, no. If people you know, ask my yeah. opinion to sound yes. an opinion about something you know, to help yes. them. I will yeah. certainly do that. 
I'll certainly do that and get involved. But uh, no, I'm not into any projects. Or uh, okay. If I was in Port Elizabeth, I would still love to be teaching. Yes. Um, but that's not to be. Okay. Okay. Um, and uh, you're talking about bucket list. You're talking about, is there anything on a bucket list that you'd still want to do? Well, probably plenty. Um, <laughs> if, I, if I sat down and thought about it, but I, but yeah, I, yeah. I don't daydream like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not like but she knows a daydream. Okay, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's there's so much in this wonderful world to do. Um, yeah. Uh, in fact, there's so much in wonderful Africa to do. We don't have to go yeah, overseas. Yeah. yeah. Africa, Africa would last a lifetime, searching Africa. It is, yeah. And, and uh, because sure. it, it is a wonderful continent, wonderful people. Um, okay, here's some, here's some interesting ones here. Do you, do you have a vice that you'd like to give up? I gave up my vices long ago. Oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! I don't consider drinking a whiskey in the evenings as a vice. It's a, okay. No, no, no. It's relaxation. That's that's what I really look forward to in the evenings. Is little a, whiskers. A glass of wine. I have a whiskey. I'm um, I'm there with you. I I enjoy that as well. A little a little bit of whiskey. Sometimes a gin and tonic, but a whiskey is actually really nice as well. A bit of, maybe a soda. You know, it's not too no, it's your thirst. No, 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 no. <laughs> so just a little bit of ice and a bit of whiskey. What? No, a little bit what? of ice. Ice. A little bit of just a bit of ice. Of give it ice. The thumbnail of water. Just oh, a no, dash. thumbnail. Just to open up the taste. Just a dash. A dash of water. You know. Yeah. Just to open up. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. You knew that, just didn't you? Open. You know, I, we we've got a little whiskey club that we go to as well. Okay. Uh, with there's two whiskey clubs. So it's got Lee Petrie and the guys, and of course Tony Lloyd and, the, and his bunch, and we have a good a good a good time. Um, okay, so what about your biggest weakness? Uh, lack of confidence. Lack of confidence. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have said that. Yeah, Six no, foot. No. What? You know, you've yeah, always it's... been an imposing character. No, it's sort of, yeah, I, I'll probably hide it. Yeah. I'll probably hide it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, like, he didn't want to be called a professor. That was one of those, uh, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And, and, and your biggest strength? My biggest strength, my word. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, attention to detail, probably one of them. I see, see that they... Uh, I've got the one, one one person was saying that. Are you are you like but OCD? Actually, I I I'll put it this way: I'm a naturally friendly person. You know, yes. I um, okay. I like chatting yeah. to people. Yeah. yeah. So people person that is a that is a strength. That is a good thing. And uh, the most uncomfortable. Yeah. The most uncomfortable place you've ever slept. On sloping ground. Above. Credit. In the oh. bush. Wow. In the bush. Yeah. What were you doing in the bush? <laughs> um, we decided it would be fun to sleep out. So we, <laughs> instead of going back, we, uh, we climbed up oh. onto, onto a ridge, found a sort of approximately flat. It wasn't flat. Yeah, okay. We lay down and went to sleep. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Oh, that was, no, that, good. Okay. Is, it, is it not cold up there? Because Craddock, that can get cold there. It can get killed, but it, it, it was the right time of the year. Okay, very lucky. <laughs> what were you doing out in the middle of the bush? This is a story. <laughs> Hiking, walking. Oh, oh walking. No, no hunting. You're not a hunter. No, no, no. no. Not. No. Animal lover. Lots of animals. Animal lover, yeah. Animal lover. Uh, yeah. Have you got dogs? Yep. Always had dogs. Love it. Love My greatest time. friends. Oh, there's they such are. wonderful... There's such wonderful videos, you know, on um, that come on my phone. Yes. Uh, <laughs> on the YouTube. Between, interaction between animals, interaction between animals and humans. Yes. Just, well, you know, John, the more you click on those, the more you're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. 
Keep on coming. Keep on coming. <laughs> Those rabbit holes. It's a, it's called a, a rabbit hole. You start clicking on this stuff, and then and then the then the phone knows that you're clicking on that stuff, and it gives you more. Send it to me. They they send it to me. They send me with it. <laughs> but I really enjoy it. I, mean, I, I just think it's great. Well, well it's, so I mean, other than, than hiking, um, uh, what's the most adventurous thing that you've ever done? Uh, I canoed down um, a couple of rivers, a Tregelli in flood. Um, wow! It, it was it was hectic and great. Um, Jeez, exciting. Went down the that's orange. like kayak vibes. I mean, through the rapids and stuff. Yeah, all through the rapids. Yeah, and I went to the same down the down the Orange River. Gee, was... uh, yeah, that that together ride was 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 really hectic. In fact, one of yeah. the guys nearly drowned. Wow! Um, you get pinned. But, uh, we all made it through. Yeah, sure. Because yeah, I mean, that, that 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 stuff where you get in under a rock and that, and and the waters yes, it, it yes, can actually that, pin you. You've actually got. You've actually put your finger right on it. If you come out of it, can you make sure you come out downriver, not upriver? Yeah, yeah. If you come out, and, come out up, upriver, you can be pinned. Yeah. yeah. And, and and they say that if you get in one of those things, you must make yourself into a ball. But I don't know if that's really going to work. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's kind of like the story about if a shark comes at you, you've got to stick your eye and uh, stick your thumb in its eye. <laughs> 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 yeah, as you might, I must say, I came close to that. I came close to being oh, really? pinned, but wow. uh, my height was on my side, and so I, yes. I was able to get my arm onto the top of the canoe and haul wow. myself up out of the out of the rapid. Vortex, gee, was, was jammed, man, the canoe was jammed on the rocks. I bet you Shirley was very happy with having you going down there, risking your I life. Never I never told her to me. <laughs> well, she knows now. <laughs> <laughs> now you're in the cuck. <laughs> no, she's not here. So <laughs> no, she's going to be watching you on the YouTube. You can forget it. She's going to be clicking on that, and then she's going to get a whole lot of videos of people get drowning in the river. No, no. Oh no! Is there is there anything that makes you really angry? Uh, probably a few things. Um, unfriendliness. Unfriendliness. Um, yeah. There's no reason to be unfriendly. Yeah. Um, that irritates or rude, me. I suppose. Yeah, it's kind of rude, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, not really. Uh, certainly, uh, you know, cruelty to, uh, to, to a person oh, yeah. or an animal, bullying yeah. of people makes yes. me angry. Okay. Uh, they, it's so unkind. Yeah. Kindness is the most important thing. We should yeah. all be kind. Is anything you, you've never got completely the mooring about something? Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. On the site, on the building site. Oh, you know, yes, no. Grant did tell me. He no, told me that there was, there was, there was a guy with with Onion Row. I think it was somebody was staying across the road, and they used to call you. What was it? Um, uh, uh, Breakdown John or nothing, something? Nothing, wait, wait, nothing, you just no. finished. <laughs> huh? No, well, if they got it wrong. If they got it wrong, I just took them. To, I told them to do it again. Yeah, yeah I mean that's <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> it was like this. He just watched you from a distance, and all you were doing was just that. That's gone <laughs> away with that. <laughs> Break down, <John. laughs> An exaggeration. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't believe a word. <laughs> no, and uh, okay, so so not not too much angry stuff though. And uh, yeah. are you positive about the future in in, in this country? Oh yes, most definitely. Yeah, but wonderful people. Yeah, the, the, the diversity is great. I love the Afrikaans language; it's one of my favourite things. Yeah, um, and the Afrikaner, you know, they're special people. Yeah, um, and we've got wonderful black people. You know, you've got yeah, to look yeah. on the on the right side with proper education yeah. and so on. We'd be much yeah. better off. So we need yeah. to get a good government. But um, yeah. there's nowhere else that I would rather yeah. be. It's, yeah, no, for sure. No, I would never, even if I could afford it, which I can't. Yeah, I wouldn't leave. I wouldn't leave South Africa. You'd go away. Uh, my yeah. children, uh, three of them, yeah. uh, they've been to many places in the world. The only place yeah. they haven't been is the Far East, but America, yeah. a lot of Europe, and 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 quite a bit of Africa. Yeah, 
And um, there's no ways that they would leave this, co this country. Yeah. So they stay. Well, they have options to do it. Um, yeah, um, yeah. My daughter. Yeah, that's, that's a good... Baby. That's a good sign. I'm also, I'm also, um, I've got, I've got great hope for it, especially for for this PE side. I think we've got, uh, we've, we've, we've got what it, what it needs, you know, just to, to grow and to, and to, and it's like you said, it's a friendly place. The people are good. If the people are good, it, it has to go well eventually, you know. <laughs> yeah, and the people, you know, that are complaining the most are the ones that are possibly better off uh, yes. than most of the country. Um, yeah, and yeah, yet that's they still true. complain. It's too easy to complain. Yes, it is. It is. Alan Fryer is online here. He's a he's a oh, chef, friend. top chef, and he top says, chef. "Always oh, a really? pleasure to see you at my restaurants, Mr. Rashmiya." He says, "I loved your restaurants. I loved your cooking. You were the best, man." Yeah, I, th I think Alan's down in uh, Port Alfred at the moment, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Alan, I think it was Port Alfred, um, and yeah. he's, uh, well, hello, he's Alan, doing... and, uh, yeah. I I really enjoyed your restaurants. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Mike Van Furen says, what a wonderful oak and the show in showroom condition as well. Uh, good to see you and listen to you, John and, uh, and Gino. Lovely show again. Well done, chaps. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and, and I know, uh, look, uh, uh, you, you're looking, you are looking well, uh, John, but, uh, but I, uh, you did tell me you, you had a stroke a little while ago. Is, has it been, uh, is it a couple of years or is it? Uh... Yeah, it's a couple of years. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, he says, overdoing it on the bicycle. Uh, uh, no, just not obeying my doctor's orders. That's all. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what, what's advice for, for a guy like me, 53, 52, 52 this year? Uh, I'm just saying 52, 53, 52 keep, this year. You've got to keep exercising. Yeah. When I say keep exercise, exercise. You don't make it a mission. Find something yeah. that you enjoy doing, like walking or cycling, and do it. Yeah. I'm yeah. Still you left out running there. Have you got something against running? <laughs> uh, too much like hard work. No, <laughs> I cycling to running. Okay, and, okay. And walking, walking's great. Yeah, yeah it is good. That's it is good. Fit. Except, except if you have to, uh, if you have to sleep on a on a slope up near Cradock <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> I like. No, I enjoyed that. I did enjoy the outdoors. Um, yeah, challenging myself in that way. Yes. Uh, yeah, we, we, I've had plenty of adventures out in the bush magic oh but john thank you so much but it's been fantastic having you on i have i think uh we, we've got we normally have two questions at the end one is uh is your proudest moment and then the moment when something's gone completely wrong i think we've we've broached that as well but uh, i think uh, it's, it's, um, and i'll tell you why it was my i suppose you could say the, the proudest moment yeah it was so out of the blue you know yeah. yes there have been awards i've got some awards in my yeah. architecture and and yes i'm proud of that yeah but we had played a, a game of rugby it was a saturday yeah. and um we had gone up to our favorite drinking hole which is yes. known as forries forrester's arms in newlands avenue and um we were hoping that Another Port Elizabethan, Mike Gillies. Uh, yes. He played center for uh, for Ikees in the same team that I was playing in. Okay. And uh, we all hoped that Mike was going to make the Western Province side, yeah, which was pretty much out of reach as far as most of us were concerned. And uh, we waited for our captain, who had waited behind to find out what what who was in the team uh, for the next provincial match. And um, he walked up the steps and stuck his hand out to me and he said, well done, John, you're playing for Western Province. I mean, I nearly <laughs> fell through the bloody floor. <laughs> I wouldn't say I was proud. I think I was just bloody shocked. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, what, Mike, what an amazing. And Mike, Mike also made it. What made it special okay. was wow. the fact that it was totally unexpected. I mean, yes, uh, it really, okay. yeah. And I, I played second team rugby at, at Gray. I, I wasn't that <laughs> big into it. I was stretching out. Losing my strength, and yeah. regathered it at Varsity, and and yeah, wow. so that was a that was a special moment that I can a remember. proud moment, really, and and and, a, and an embarrassing moment, or or a moment where something's gone completely wrong. You come up with these awkward questions, and I've got to do. 
I'm not avoiding them. I'm not avoiding them. <laughs> I, I just, I, I've got to try. I, I'll keep you there for a while while my brain starts to wind backwards <laughs> to sort of find those moments. And we haven't got that sort of time. So I'm going No, to we haven't. No. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> John, it's been it's been absolutely fantastic. We we've got a competition that we that we run towards the end of the show now where, where we give away a case of Fitch and Leeds to whoever's watching on, on, on screen at the moment. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put that thing on here quickly and we can go we can churn through through the number the, the names and see who's winning. There we okay. go. Let's We're putting it up there now. Let's see it's who's gonna win the Fitch and Leeds for tonight. Is it Mike? Is it Greg? Is it Janine? Thea, Thea Bierschenk. <laughs> Thea Bierschenk, she is the one who's winning tonight. <laughs> Fantastic. Does she drink beer? Um, no, no, it's, it's not beer. It's it's, it's uh, actually mixes. So so it's oh, like they, yeah. they, they, they you mix it with gin or or yeah, it's normally a, a mixer for some gin. Yes, oh, Grant will know. Yes, yeah. Grant. Gr- Grant will know uh, Gary DeBrain. He's he's our, our Fitch and Leeds man here. He's uh, they they um, they sponsor the show as well uh, as well as Spa, of course. Okay. And I know that Grant does. Uh, he, Grant does. The, he did the beer as well. His beer was that striped horse, eh? Hey? That's right. Jimmy, you've got a good memory. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 I know. He's done a gym that's quite marvelous. Oh, what's, what's it called? Malachite. It's, it's Malachite. A, it's a fine boss. It's a fine boss, Jim. Nice. And Bit of Cape Town. It's really brilliant. It's really <laughs> well, fantastic. Thank you so much, John, for coming on. It's yeah. been fantastic having you. Well, it's a pleasure. And say, say hello to Shirley as well and, uh, and, to, and to the rest of the family. And lovely to have you on. Reconnect you with PE. Yeah, no, thank you for that. I, I really it's a pleasure. It. Thank you, Gina. Good. I'm Thanks glad. That, uh, yes, yes. They've, they've, they've had fun. <laughs> Thanks, John. Ciao. And we'll see you, ladies and gentlemen, next week on Tuesday. On Tuesday? It's a coffee break. Sandy Coffee is coming on for Sandy's Coffee Break. Make sure you don't miss out on Tuesday. Always interesting, Sandy Coffee. And thank you to Spa. Thank you to Fitch and Leeds. Thank you to Amobia for our internet. And thank you to Fat Cats for a couple of yummy little croissants. Make sure you subscribe. Cheers. Woo! Relax it down. Coming out of PE town. Have a drink, find a shot. Never mind your liver. Get to Gino's spot. Gino's spot. Get to Gino's spot. Have a laugh, have a giggle, and exercise your middle. Have a Gino shot. Gino shot. Get a Gino spot. Gino spot. Get a Gino spot. Gino spot. Have a laugh, have a giggle, and exercise your middle. Get a Gino spot.